steal away Live for the moment you say we'll be just fine Hi guys, I'm Sangyang Longgast Welcome to Asian at Home And today all my vegetarian and vegan followers Guys, this recipe is for you Because when you go to a restaurant, Asian restaurant You love to order this star fried green, right? And you think this is vegetarian, but it's not because usually they seasoned with oyster sauce and the flavor is coming from chicken stock. Yes, that's the truth of the Asian greens. So I'm going to show you how to make this Asian green dish at home or vegan and vegetarian. So let's get started. I'm going to slice five large cloves of garlic first. cut up your choice of the vegetables so you can use any kind of the leafy vegetables or mixture of vegetables that you choose to use today I'm using this it's a family of bok choy but I'm not sure their names I'm just gonna call them skinny bok choy because they're nice and skinny and tall and that's what I want to be so yeah please you are what you is <laughs> I'm eating skinny bok choy so hopefully I'll get there one day okay you just have to just cut the stem out like this and I'm actually gonna leave them as long pieces as they are because they're so beautiful um, you can use kale spinach you can use uh, let's say regular bok choy napa cabbage or even regular cabbage and some broccoli maybe or a mixture of the cabbage onion and kale or something like that or add some carrot if you like to use whatever vegetable that you really really like okay this was the easiest prep ever just slice your five cloves of garlic and cut the stem off your bok choy or skinny bok choy <laughs> now I'm going to just turn on the heat to medium heat in your wok or regular skillet will work too I'm gonna add three tablespoons of oil it looks like a lot of oil, but it's not because the, the garlic will absorb some of the oil by frying it. And also it's a pound of vegetables. So be generous of our vegetable, uh, vegetable, be generous of our oil. Okay. I'm using avocado oil today, but you can definitely use, you know, vegetable oil, peanut oil, canola oil, or anything like that. Just do not use extra virgin olive oil or sesame oil for this recipe because they will just burn and all the flavor will burn you don't want to waste that expensive oil okay so we're gonna fry up the garlic first so this way garlic will crisp up a little bit and golden brown and also infuse their flavor to the oil so cook the garlic until they are nice and golden brown and you can smell the aroma from the garlic which about like one to two minutes and before the garlic gets too you know too dark we're gonna go ahead and add the vegetables. Love that part. Okay, now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of soy sauce. Highly recommended to use Thai or Chinese soy sauce. And a tablespoon of vegetarian oyster sauce. This vegetarian oyster sauce actually has no oyster. The flavor is coming from the mushroom. Okay. Now I'm going to increase the heat to high heat and stir until the vegetables are cooked to your life. Some people like fully cooked soft vegetables, some people like little crunchy vegetables, which is that me. So that's how I'm going to cook it. And now you see the natural juice in the wok that from the vegetables. It's going to be so, so good. You can find the vegetable oyster sauce from your Chinese grocery store, Asian grocery store, or online. I will put the link down below of the video so you can definitely check it out, okay? I mean, this is pretty much done. I'm gonna turn off the heat, add some black pepper. Done. Oh, so easy, right? Oh, hmm. So good. So excited.
Some for you. Some for you. Well, I'm gonna make fried rice after this video, so guys, tune in and we will we will enjoy the rest of it with the fried rice, okay? Mm, it's really good. Mm, super simple too. Skinny bak choy. I mean, that's the name I gave you. I gave it to him. Anyway, guys, how do you like this new angle of the kitchen? I think I, I like it a lot because it makes my kitchen look bigger than before angle. Oh, and David or Hanyeon, that's Korean name, my assistant, who's gonna be here to taste my food too. Kind of, you know, give more approval to more people. If three people say it's good, then just one or two people saying good, so you know. Trustable. She forces us to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Got a gun Can you take a bite and it makes you do a little dance every time? <laughs> if you like my simple vegetarian star fried green, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you haven't for more delicious for more inspirations. inspirations and ideas for Asian home cooking. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. And I'm Han Yong Kim. And this is Asian at Home. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Ooh, and don't forget to take a picture and share on Instagram and tag me, Song Kyung Long Guest, so I can like and comment on your post, okay? I love you guys. Mwah.